Hey everyone, uh, okay, I'm not a video maker and I'm not a salesman, but I'm just gonna run through really quickly this trailer that we have for sale. This is the Rockwood 8324SB. It's 32 feet long. Um, you can see it's got the double doors, it's got three slides. So uh, included in the package is um, a nice Reese tail hitch uh, and a Husky um, weight distribution system that's good for 800 to 1200 pounds. It's got two propane tanks. We've used one, but it's still going. The other one is still full. It's got a power hitch extend um, and, and, and the batteries. And it's got um, a solar panel on the roof. And there's a Reese friction sway control as well. If you've never had it, this is probably one of the best parts of it. It has electronic leveling, so you get to your campsite, you disconnect your tow vehicle, and then you set auto, you put your slides out, hit auto level, and it does all the rest. You've gotta kinda of make sure you got your blocks underneath it, but it'll do everything for you. Um, we got some storage under here. This is where I usually keep like the stuff for actually hooking up, like the, the the hitch and stuff like that when I'm in storage. It's got a large power awning that extends the whole length of this. All of the slides, as you can see, have covers on them. Uh, it's got the sort of those flush windows um, and again the double doors and it's got these um, really quick and easy to work with um, stairs. You don't have a, a lot of hassle with the stairs. They're very strong. These legs are adjustable with a little pin underneath. And com coming into the kitchen, um, the dining room, we've got, I should turn some lights on. Um, we've got this sort of countertop height table with two tables and a big bench. So lots of room and it's it's really good because you can see the TV and stuff there's a TV up there on a televator in the kitchen you've got lots of storage it's um, soft clothes three full drawers here for lots of stuff under the sink there's storage we've got some storage under here uh, that's a strap to hold the chairs when you're traveling but I have a nicer bungee that's a little more reliable and the base for your sound bar um, got the double sink up on top we've got lots of storage there's a fresh filter for the water filter that I'll show in a few minutes lots of storage here um, there's a stove three burner stove um, and, an, and an oven on oh, that glass thing uh, there's storage down here for your fry pans and things we've got a microwave there's Quite a large I'll uh, I'll have to look up I can't remember how many cubic feet it is but there's a large fridge and a large freezer and the, I mean when we're on the road those run while we're traveling no problem uh, especially on a sunny day with the thing you've got this auto lit pantry here that allows for tons of stuff keep a you know like usually keep a coffee maker and stuff off the counter by putting it in there You've got these two slide out. This one big giant slide out covers the kitchen and this and this sofa. There's a set of um, theater chairs here. They are manual pop out. They have a air powered uh, bladder lumbar support here. Uh, they are not vibrating or lit up or anything like that, but they do the basics um, and uh, store your remotes and stuff in those things. And you got another um, couch here. You got tons of storage through here. Um, yeah, the inverter is down here. There's storage, storage. This is your uh, system for. You've got three zone speakers. You've got uh, in here in the master bedroom, and outside is number three. Plays DVDs. You can um, you can uh, you know it's got a pretty good it, it it'll accept cable um, and it's wired for satellite 
but when we get you know we get to a campsite that has cable we've got it and otherwise it's got a pretty good antenna and we'll pick up over the air tv um, pretty easily underneath here is the televator uh, with a 55 inch tv and while that's going up there's a sound bar underneath and then there's this fireplace that um, does a bit of uh, like it it can either just put on a show or it actually generates quite a bit of heat so it's it's nice on a cold on a cooler morning so you can just but otherwise it's mostly just uh you know it can be for show as well see so whether you have heat or not uh, a little more storage on this side from back here at the at the chairs you can see the televator um like i say a nice big 55 inch and then i'm going to get someone to hold the camera here and i'll show really quick um, it's a little warm in here if I'm sweaty looking, sorry. Pull these off for a second. And this and this. I didn't do that as fast as I wanted to. And the ladies down. So then once you pop this out, you just bring this thing down. And you can put these back here if you want to. Or you can just have a pillow. And I'm I'm 5'11 on a good day, and like I'm an inch from the top here, and so there's lots of room. You can fit a couple of adults here, um, but certainly the kids will have a field day here. And if um, and then this is the other nice thing. So this isn't a bunkhouse model, and you know I think a lot of families want a bunkhouse, but the bunkhouse you lose a lot of space and it's and it's basically just becomes um, sort of lost space so the nice thing about this is when the kids aren't sleeping um, you don't have a bunch of wasted space so in here you've got basically beds for you know you can do a couple of couples on it or you can do kids on it at least four kids and you just get a lot more value for your money and we find you know even if we get up a little before them you can still look at the tv there's room to put a tv install in the bedroom there's a separate door of the bedroom if you want to go up to the camp uh, office and get a coffee and leave them in here um, but these are i think this, this is a great setup okay so those are all closed up now um what we can I can show is all the windows have like a sort of a privacy light let in blind and they also have a full blackout blind so you can make it nice and dark in here a pretty decent looking um, stuff around it there's additional lighting here so that it doesn't come on with the main lighting but there is lots of lighting and, uh, and lots of light in the trailer especially when you put the televator back down if you don't need it there's that window there so just moving really quickly to the back there's a there's a power thing here if you need it you know for plug in a toaster on this side or something if you needed to um, I'll come to the bathroom in a second but take you through here's there's a separate door here so you can close off the bedroom here's that nice uh, secondary entrance We've got the master bedroom, uh, a big king size bed. It's it's honestly a very comfortable mattress. Um, I have no complaints about it at all. I've kind of left this on. This cover comes with it. We didn't use it an awful lot, but just showing um, the mattress. There is access to storage underneath the mattress that's accessible from outside, and there are these two drawers uh, as well. So. Those are very handy for keeping bedding and linen and stuff in, or towels if you needed to. There's all this storage down here, through here, again, all on soft clothes. And then all of these as well. Um, stuff in there. And then there's another storage here with sort of access to plumbing and stuff. Not really anything useful, but why is there plumbing there, you ask? Well, that's a good because this is fully prepped for a washer, like a washer dryer combo probably. 
Um, we have never uh, installed one, but if you were long hauling, that would be really useful. There is power and cable here for the, and a TV backer board behind there. Um, there's vents and these are the speakers in the ceiling for the, uh, the zone two is this, is this area. And then there's a, up, up beside the bed, there's power and there's USB and power. Uh, there's little shelves. They all have like a, a gap to get wires through. There's room in the top for a CPAP machine. In, in this bathroom, I got it tied off. So here's the bathroom. It's a little tight in here, we find. Um, it's not really enough storage under here for a garbage can. I think that becomes just the biggest thing is we don't like to flush a lot of toilet paper, so we try to use a garbage can. Um, in all honesty, when we're not using the shower, I'll sometimes just put a, the step on trash can in here. It's out of the way and um, it still gets things done. These are the step on trash cans for the kitchen and the bathroom. I've left this unscrewed just to show you that this is where the hot water tank is and this is where the water pump is and you make your quick switches in here when you want to winterize it. It's, um, it's pretty straightforward to winterize. This is the sliding door for the master to have access to the bathroom. There's um, one, a max air fan uh, up on the roof here and if you noticed in the shower, we upgraded the shower head and it does have the um, shower miser. So if you're not familiar with that, if you're running off your water tank and not city water, you can actually um, run your hot water and with this shower miser turned on, you can send the water back into your water tank until it gets hot. As the hot water comes through here, this will change color and you know that you can now turn it on and have it start coming out your shower head. So you don't waste that hot water that has to come through while it recirculates from the hot water tank. Oh boy, video there on my face. Um, some cabinets here, some storage. I showed you the storage underneath. There's power here for your blow dryer and stuff like that. A little toothbrush and cup holder, uh, towel rack. And, uh, and there's some extra lighting in here as well, um, just to brighten things up. And uh, finally, this is your, um, for your cooling and heating system. Over here, you've got your slide outs, your awning extend, uh, different lights, the porch awning step and interior lights. Uh, and then, and like I say, we've all, there's also some extra reading lights over um, sitting areas and stuff like that. And then you've got your fresh water, your battery, your black tank uh, level. So uh, this is your battery, but on this side is your tank fill. Uh, the gray one, uh, so galley is the kitchen. It has its own little tank and I'll show you that outside. And then uh, gray one is your shower and sink. And gray two, we don't use, that's the gray tank that is draining the washer and dry, or the washer, but we don't need that right now. So um, otherwise, uh, you know, you've got electric and, and gas, and you've, there is tank heaters in this. So if you're in cold environment, it'll heat up your tank so they don't freeze. And then this is the uh, solar controller. Uh, it's pumping out 13.4 volts right now. A nice sunny day, and it's been it's been really good. Your fuse box down there, fire extinguisher. And if I run around the outside really quick, uh, I showed you that this is your fresh water fill, and there's a drain underneath. This is the ground control, the auto leveling, which is really nice. I do have a generator running right now. I should have turned on the AC. Um, but so you just got to get a piece of wood underneath those before you do your auto leveling. There's a shelf that comes with it that can go on here. And if you get the TV with the portable mount, you can pull it off the wall in the bedroom, put it out here. These are your zone three speakers. Um, this is your cable and power to run that TV or to run something. Uh, if you want to put a boom box on the shelf or something, um, uh, water, uh, hot and cold water outside there. We've got the um, ladder to the roof, and I'll try to do this without falling down. 
And there's the solar panel, the air conditioner, uh, the three fan vents, the sun roof over the shower, and you can see the antenna at the front. And you get another quick look at those awning covers over all of the slide outs, which is a really nice thing to have. There is a there is a light under the awning. Uh, there's an LED light strip that goes the length of the awning. Got a hitch on the back. Uh, and then this is the storage. Sorry about that. This is the storage that's under the bed. So you've got your crank for bringing down the spare tire. Um, a nice big storage under there. Keep the power line and the water hoses and stuff underneath there. Uh, I should, gotta wash it up, but this is the shelf that mounts on the outside. And there's a you know a portable water hose. And then here is your another outdoor shower. This is your hot water tank, your electrical in, um, 50 amp circuit. Uh, but you know with some adapters it has no problem doing 30. Uh, this is your low point drain where you hook up your city water, your cable satellite, and things like that. Um, underneath here is this is the gray water from the shower and and uh, and the bathroom. This is the gray water from the washing machine, which we're not using. And underneath there, you can see the black that's coming from your toilet. And then up here, this is the galley uh, gray water here. Um, uh, it's got a TPMS system, so you'll have a device you put on your dash and you can monitor your tire pressure in your trailer tires at all times um, this is the slide out again um, a little bit about the tires and then we're done here at the front and, uh, and again that um, weight distribution system all right thank you very much